only on five. Dwayne The Rock Johnson comes home to Memphis at the Action News 5 studios where his rise to superstardom Joe all started. You're so right, Joy. For <laughs> decades, the room we're standing in right here right yeah. now was home to Saturday morning championship wrestling. And though a lot of big name wrestlers got their start right here, none of them blew up like the rock. Yeah, back then he was known as Flex Kavana. Wrestling fans may remember that. Well, now he's the actor, producer, show creator of his larger than life NBC sitcom, Young Rock, currently shooting right here in Memphis. Now, The Rock shot his scenes a few weeks ago, and in between takes, he took a trip down memory lane right here at Channel 5. <laughs> Well, I thought about it, David. You know what? When Jerry Lawler says that he's half the man, he thinks he is, then he'll give me a title shot. I like you, Flex. Good-looking young guy. Got a lot of potential. I'd lose the shape. The match is done. All right, let's go. Let's go to the ring. Jerry the King Lawler won that match. But since then, The Rock has laid the smackdown on the whole world of entertainment. More than 25 years have passed since The Rock, known as Flex Cavana in those days, spent Saturday mornings at Action News 5. So when he requested to stop by to see his old stomping grounds, we called in an old friend. Come on in. Welcome back to WMC. I've got somebody in here you may recognize. Right over here. Hey, man. <laughs> Hello, How Rock. How are you doing? How are you? It's Great to see, to see you. Man. Welcome back to your uh, Saturday morning home. Man, it's good to be here. Thank Thanks you for, for being me here. over, by the way, all those times. <laughs> yeah, you, made me, you it, made me look good. It didn't take much. You were good. <laughs> you made me look good. <laughs> Dave Brown and The Rock first met decades ago when Dave hosted live wrestling matches in the Action News 5 studios. He said, hey, thanks for putting me over all those years ago. In other words, building, building me up with the audience on television. And I said, man, you were, the, you were the easiest guy to put over. You and young Jerry Lawler, the two easiest guys I ever had to put over because you were good when you got here. When The Rock realizes we're on Channel 5, Memphis TV. What does it mean to you to be back at the place where it all began? Oh, man, it means so much. I haven't been here in years, and, you know, I drove up from Florida, and I didn't have much money. Those were my days where I had seven bucks, right? the, the infamous seven bucks. Dwayne Johnson is now the highest-paid movie star in the world. His films have grossed more than $10 billion worldwide. But the seven bucks he had in his pocket when he came back to Memphis after living here as a kid opened all the right doors. And I drove here with just some grit and a dream. I knew I loved wrestling. And of course, you know, Memphis wrestling was a staple, was the hottest show in town at one time for a long time. Um, but there's also such rich history, not only in the city of Memphis with Memphis wrestling, but my dad wrestled here and my dad laid his roots down here. I lived here when I was a little boy and I used to come to this station as a little boy. Um, and, you know, running around, getting in trouble. Dwayne's dad, the late Rocky Johnson, paved the way for his son through a school of very hard knocks, as Dave Brown witnessed. He was also a boxer, and he was actually a sparring partner for some, some big-name boxers for the time being. And he came in here, as I recall, he came in here uh, under a, a gimmick match with Jerry Lawler. DJ, as his friends call him, took the family business to new heights, but fondly remembers where it all began. So to be able to come back and not only wrestle, just kick off my wrestling career here. Um, and I always say, you know how you, you say, well, if you can make it in New York, you can make it anywhere. But if you can make it in Memphis, at Channel 5 Wrestling, and if you could get cheered or booed, which is very important, <laughs> then you got a shot at making it. That's why he says he chose Memphis to shoot season three of his NBC sitcom, Young Rock. For a show like Young Rock, we could shoot a lot of places. Past two seasons, we have shot in Atlanta. We've shot in Australia. We've shot all around, but um, so much of the defining moments and times in my life happened right here in Memphis. Um, right here at Channel 5. Um, the trailer park I used to live at, Walls, Mississippi, with downtown Bruno. Uh, you know, wrestling at the Big One Flea Market here every Monday night. So much has happened here in Memphis. I thought, if we're going to do season three of Young Rock, let's do it. Let's do it the right way. Let's come down to Memphis and let's really showcase Memphis. And not only that, but then we can hopefully create some jobs 
for some Memphians. Some 237 Memphis area employees are now working on the production to make Young Rock an even bigger comedy hit. Memphis and Shelby County approved tax breaks that could have Young Rock or another NBC show in production here for the next four years. I am so happy uh, for Dwayne. I am so happy for NBC because they got themselves a hit, a uh, Friday night comedy hit. And I am so proud for the city of Memphis because this is good for the city. It's good publicity. It's good press. It's good money. And not only that, but then I think when people watch Young Rock, they're really going to feel the authenticity of being here in Memphis and what it means. On behalf of all Memphians, thank you from our heart for coming back here and doing this. Thank you for saying that. I appreciate it. It's such a pleasure to be back. Well, The Rock spent a couple of hours with his crew right here at Action News 5 as he did press for his DC Comics film, Black Adam. He rolls with an entourage now of publicists and security guards and a social media team, but he drove himself to our studios here at 1960 Union. No driver, no caravan, and he lived up to his reputation as one of the nicest guys in Hollywood. Season 3 of Young Rock premieres right here tomorrow night, 7.30 on Action News 5.